Good morning. Okay. I welcome you all. I think uh, more than us, all the cell phone companies are very excited to welcome you. I see all the billboards nearby welcoming you. So I think uh, both Pro VC and uh, Vice President Admin have given you some valuable uh, tips. I wanted to add uh, some more points. The first thing which I wanted to mention is uh, about how important your role is in nation building. Let's take for example Israel. Israel, it has only 7.3 million population. Ours is 1.2 billion population and their size is only like 22,000 square kilometers which is much smaller than Kerala even but they are one of the leaders of the world. They live in adverse conditions. They don't have river Ganges and you know, so many mines like the natural resources we have. They don't have water. They have only d desert. And they live su in such a hostile atmosphere. Not I mean, every month there will be some bombing, some violence and terrorism. But their universities produce the maximum number of patents in the world. Why is that? What is the difference between India and Israel? They are hard-working people. They are dedicated people. All of them, they work towards building their nation. Everybody thinks of themselves as a soldier of, this, of their nation. Everybody is a Jawan. They don't negotiate with terrorists because every life lost is life given for the country. They live and die for their country. It's such a small nation. They have drip irrigation, which India has to learn from. We are learning. You know, they convert, you know, they get water from ocean. So there are many, many technologies which they have developed. We need to learn from them and live like that. We need to worry about our nation. How do we take care of our nation? I mean, as a student, what is your role? You think I am not a bureaucrat? I am not a politician, I am not a ruler, my contribution doesn't matter. No, you are wrong. Every drop counts. Each and every one of you should think of contributing something to this country through your studies and innovation. In Tamil, the famous poet Bharatiya said, Dikketrum Sendidivir, I mean, and what it means is go to all eight corners of the world and bring back all the wealth to this nation. No doubt, after your studies, you will be going abroad to Western nations, developed nations, earn, fine, but come back to India. Don't just bring your money. Don't just send the money. It's not money which India wants. It's the know-how. It's the knowledge. It's your help which India needs. You need to bring back and make our nation as the best nation in the world. So, as part of this, I wanted to mention that we emphasize on creativity and innovation at VIT. That's what will take our nation to the next step. Now, you might all know Apple company's slogan, right? Think different. That's what Steve Jobs did. How did Apple capture the entire world's imagination? It's because he and his team came up with innovative ideas, whether it's the world of music, or whether it's the digital music, or the cell phone, or the tablets. They created a market for tablets with innovative designs. They could capture the imagination. How did that happen? That's what Albert Einstein clearly said, imagination is more important than knowledge. So at VIT, you learn a lot from your classroom, but you should learn a lot more outside your classroom. You need to engage with your friends and teachers and everybody. There are going to be many conferences, seminars and workshops. I want you to participate in each and every one of them so that you learn more outside the classroom also. There's a big difference between what you did at school and what you're going to do at a university. You will 
learn it, but let me give you a heads up. In school, it's a lot about spoon feeding and coach coaching. In universities, it's going to be, the teachers are going to be more about being a facilitator. They will facilitate to you, for you to learn. It's up to you to learn. You need to take full advantage of the professors here, of the library, of the net facility, and learn yourself. That's very, very important for you. And uh, to encourage you into thinking a lot on uh, creatively, so we have introduced project-based learning where you are given an opportunity to do projects as part of your coursework. Uh, our students have been excelling in such uh, projects. Um, they not only do theoretical projects, there are a lot of practical projects. For example, um, I spoke to a couple of electronic students. Oh, by the way, I'm a graduate of this college, this institution in electronics and communication engineering, so uh, that's an uh, extra plus for you. And uh, I spoke to a couple of students. I asked them to design uh, an automatic traffic signal uh, which, which uses sensors which will uh, for this subway. Right now, we have kept it not operational, but later on you will notice that it uses sensors to sense whether it's a four-wheeler or a two-wheeler, whether it's a pedestrian, and then allow the vehicle one at a time in one direction only in the subway. It was all designed by our students and implemented. I mean, they designed it quickly because it's easy to design, but then when they put it on the road, they felt the difficulty that the signal couldn't, I mean, the sensor couldn't differentiate between a diesel auto and a petrol auto. I mean, there are differences. So students learn practically uh, inside VIT itself. There are many innovations. For example, in yesterday's, uh, in today's newspaper, you would have seen Neveli Lignite Corporation and VIT have collaborated to come up with a building which is using the ash instead of the sand. So such innovations bring down the cost of construction. So I want each and every one of you to think differently and come up with new ideas. You know, the, your seniors have been doing very well. They've come up with stair climbing robot and dancing robots. You know, your electronics students have done a lot of wonders here. Uh, we have festivals like Gravitas, which will come up in September, which gives scope for students to exhibit their uh, talent. The other important point which I wanted to touch is, before I go there, let me give you a small uh, story. A young exec took a flight from Chennai to Delhi in business class, and um, when the plane took off, he noticed that next to his seat, was the chairman of a big company of India, very big company, sitting next to him in a flight. He was very excited. He was uh, talking to him. During his uh, flight, he asked this chairman, Sir, you have become 70 years old now. Why don't you retire? You know what the chairman replied? My dear young friend, the plane has taken off and has reached 20,000 feet, why don't they switch off the engine? The point I'm trying to make here is, many of you work very, very, very hard and try to get into an institution like VIT. And once you join VIT, you switch off the engine. You need to continue that same height which you used for getting into VIT, the same kind of hard work. You know, many people think that, okay, my life goal is to enter VIT or IIT, and once I enter, I'm all set. No, this is where your life starts. You have been given a great opportunity, utilize it and become a great person. At VIT, we not only are concerned about your academic growth, we are worried about your, concerned about your total personality also. That's why even in engineering, we didn't fully put engineering subjects alone. We have given you management subjects and sociology subjects, science, etc., and create a well-rounded personality rather than you know, just an engineer, because 
an engineer cannot succeed as an engineer alone. An engineer needs to be a leader also, a good team worker also. That's what I want you to learn here. Good leadership qualities, teamwork, uh, those are all important qualities which you have to uh, learn here. And uh, one more issue which I wanted to touch is the um, age group. Most of you are 17. And this is the age where you want to experiment. Do all positive experiments, no negative experiments, please. There will be peer pressure. People might ask you to smoke or, you know, try a alcohol. You should have the courage to say no. It requires a lot of courage. Just those two letters, powerful letters, no. Just say no. This is the age of temptations. Just say no. Unless you are strong, people can easily get to you. But if you are strong, nobody can get to you. It's that determination, it's that willpower which, which will get you through and take you to the top when it's uh, come to life uh, achievement. You know, we have courses like Ethics and Values where we make it interesting for you to learn and spread good ethics, you know, whether it's a uh, subject of corruption or any other bad habits. You know, we are here to help you to learn and pick up all those good habits. You know, we want to put positive peer pressure on you. And the other issue is uh, being away from home for the first time for many of you. You need to develop a lot of friends. Don't be aloof. Now, as they say, strangers are friends whom you haven't met. So there are no strangers. They are all friends. So make new friends with the FFCS system, you will realize that you will get the opportunity to go to different classes and make new friends. And again, VIT is there to help you to grow. This is a um, place to learn and a chance to grow. We want to be in the top 200 list of the world. How do we make it to the top 200 list of the world? It's because of the hard work of students, faculty and staff, we can make it. And our goal is to produce one Nobel laureate by the time we reach the age of 50, we are 30 now. We will make it, provided you, we all work hard towards it and we can change the world if we work hard. Thank you.